people. But the good thing is now we are focusing more on risk reduction. Next. So in order to coordinate the international effort of disaster risk reduction, and in year 2000, the General Assembly approved the international strategy of disaster reduction, at the same time established ICDR Secretariat. And the, the, ICDR, uh, the strategy basically aims to build disaster resilient communities with the goal of reducing human, social, economic, and environmental losses to the natural hazard and the related technological and environmental disasters. Next. Next. Um, people say, who is ICDR? ICDR is very young, only five years old, no, eight years old now. And um, where, you know, which part of the UN you belong to? And here is a simple chart, just tell you, we are part of the UN Secretariat. And we are actually under the leadership of the Under Secretary General for the Humanitarian Affairs. So part is OCHA for disaster response, and part is ICDR for the uh, disaster risk reduction. And the good news I want to, to share with you is, just uh, uh, one month ago, I think one month or a little bit more, at the, the UN actually approved a new higher post for disaster risk reduction. This actually shows that they increase their, uh, they attach the more importance to the subject. And now we are going to have a new uh, assistant secretary general to actually lead the process of disaster risk reduction. Next. So what is the major functions of ICDR secretariat? We basically focus on five areas. A policy and coordination, our mandate is a coordination, and advocacy, and try to get the message across, try to um, uh, create more political space and commitment, and raise the general public awareness, and the information management, basically try uh, through this to, in, to, to, manage, uh, to uh, increase the knowledge sharing uh, and knowledge management. And then regional outreach, and uh, also we act as a secretariat of the ICDR system, which was created right after the um, HILGO framework for action was adopted. So our headquarters in Geneva, we have different regional offices, so you can identify yourself and uh, where you can actually um, to, to go to establish your network or collaboration with our regional offices. And we have thematic platforms. As uh, we move on, we will have more and more thematic platforms because disaster risk reduction is across cutting in the development process. That's why we need to build uh, more thematic process, uh, thematic platforms to assist the implementation of disaster risk reduction. Uh, in the development, in different development sectors. And we also have partners and networks, and this is not exhausted list. I just want to give you, say that ISDR system is very inclusive, and you are very welcome to be the member of ISDR system. Next. One of the progress we made is we put, uh, when ISDR secretariat was established, we actually gener uh, in collaborate with uh, different communities uh, in di for disaster risk reduction and uh, put together a conceptual framework for disaster risk reduction. I remember even before the uh, World Conference on Disaster Reduction, I made a presentation in uh, Mauritius. At that time, at that time, I also shared this conceptual framework, but. At that time, this was not completed even. But people realized this is very useful and put all the pieces together, who is linked with what. And yesterday, someone from the floor also mentioned uh, that what is the relationship between disaster risk reduction and disaster management? And from this, I would like to show you. I just go through it very quickly. Huh? 
the, if you look at the, at the other very end, you will notice that there are hazards. We say the hazards is like a natural event, like a flood, earthquake, you know, storms. These are hazards. They are not disasters. If a flood actually occurred in a non-populated area, nobody died from it, and no, no uh, economic losses. We call it it's just a natural hazard. It's a flood, but it's not a disaster. But if a disaster costs a lot of human lives and uh, costs social economic losses, and this will become a disaster, which contribute to it is the other risk factors, the social economic, and the physical, and environmental. And then from there, if you want to do a solid risk reduction and the mainstream disaster risk reduction into development, please look at, with the arrow, come to this end, you got to do a vulnerability assessment and the hazard analysis and the mapping. You have to know where we have what kinds of hazards, how vulnerable uh, we are, and what kind of actions we should take. So that comes to the risk identification. In the risk identification, there is a risk uh, management. Once you have a risk, uh, risk analysis, and then you will decide what you are going to do with this risk. Are you going to accept it? Are you going to uh, take actions? Are you going to monitoring the evolving process of the risk? So from there, you become more proactive. Yeah? And after there, that is the key, risk identification. After that, if you go up, that is a social processes of disaster risk reduction. You raise the public awareness and education on the subject. And then from this way, the political commitment is a political process. And that is much focused on policies, legislations, and uh, you know, strategies, and basically create enabling environment for us to address disaster issues. And then go down here is application of disaster risk reduction to development. And this is basically integrate disaster risk reduction into development processes. And there is a disaster management. So you can see is basically through risk assessment, you actually enhance early warning, make early warning more accurate, and then come to this early warning enable us to have enough time to do preparedness. So disaster, risk man disaster management is a part of this um, disaster reduction framework, but it emphasizes more on contingency plan, preparedness, get ready for action. Next. So the Hugo framework, as I mentioned earlier, are five priorities. And again, is actually this developed based on that conceptual framework. The first priority is try to make it a national priority. And that is a political process. The second is a social process. No, the second is a technical process. And the third one is a social process. The third one, the first one is reducing risks. Basically, is the developmental processes. And then get ready, be prepared, and ready to act is the humanitarian process. I'm not going to elaborate. We have some publication here. So if you want, we can share with you. Next. And so in order to further unfold disaster risk reduction process, engage more stakeholders from different fields, and we actually create ICR system. As I said, ICR system is very inclusive, but the main, main uh, state, main, main body is national governments, of course. And the objective is to reduce disaster risk worldwide, and focusing on nations and communities. And the main we, instrument we use is the Hugo framework. And in order to make, to achieve the overarching goal of the Hugo framework, and we actually try to make a disaster risk reduction.